All right, good afternoon, everybody. Coach Carter, I'll talk about uh, substance abuse. Uh, we've got our two essential questions. Um, raise your hand, someone wants to read those two questions for me. Go ahead, sir. What is substance abuse? What type of impact can substance abuse have on a person's life? Good, good. We're going to uh, talk about that a little later. Um, Darius, let's take our headphones out, please, sir. Rules on the, on the wall there. Thank you very much. Let's pay attention. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so just to get a little quick icebreaker, who knows any uh, celebrities? Well, first of all, we all know what drugs are and things of that nature. By a show of hands, do you know any celebrities that may abuse drugs and have substance abuse problems? Okay. <laughs> you, sir? Whitney Houston is one. Anyone else? You, sir? Uh, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne abused substances, yes. Yes, sir. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, yes. Cat Williams. Yep, yeah, yeah, Cat Williams, yeah. Yeah, he, he was all sleeping pills and things of that nature. You know what else? 21 Savage and you, sir? He's not a celebrity. You, oh. sir? You yeah. had your hand raised? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen, that's a good one. <laughs> well, I mean, not a good one. It's not a good thing. Because anytime you abuse, like, drugs or substances, you know it can affect your eyes, your heart, circulatory system, liver, kidneys, muscles, your respiratory system affects you how you breathe, and uh, even your brain. And most people use these type of drugs to, you know, escape from something or even to get away from a certain thing. Unfortunately, you know, since that I've been teaching, you know, I've ran into a couple of students that had issues with substance abuse. And how I... You can see the signals in certain people is, you know, poor social skills, poor performance in school, like somebody who's doing very well and all of a sudden they just dropped, um, declining grades, always forgetting things, you know, uh, having blackouts, forgetting what they did the night prior. Those are things that you can see with, um, that can cause substance abuse. Um, substance abuse can be marijuana, Crack, cocaine, angel dust, ecstasy, crank, ice, speed. Uh, have y'all seen that movie? Um, have you seen Training Day? Yeah. Remember that? Remember when he was in the car and he said, and he smoked it. And he was, yeah, he said, smoke it, and he did like this, and he said, angel dust, that's what you had. That's the, substance, that's the type of drug that he was talking about, you know, as far as substance abuse is concerned. Um, also, the impact. I didn't go over, can cause uh, chest pain, rapid heartbeat, difficulty breathing, extreme abdominal pain, dark color urine, um, severe pain in the injection site. So let me ask y'all a question. Why do you think people, if it caused all these problems and all these issues, why do you think they would even result to using those type of drugs? Why, why would you think that? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I would say because, I mean, That's correct. It's a way to escape. Yes, sir. They do it by trying to fit in. Fit in, yes. Or they don't cut down their symptoms. Sometimes, because some folks really need that to calm, just be calm. Just to calm them down. down. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. like That's good, too. If some people only try it, but then they get addicted. Then they get addicted, too. And that's why you just got to stay away from it. Yes, sir. Like the rush. Like the rush. So you want to get chasing that high and that rush again. Yes, sir. They might do something fun to try to might be fun. A lot of people feel like they can't have fun unless they're drunk or high or something like that. It's the feeling. The feeling, right, right. And and there's no reason to even induce yourself or even get involved with those type things because they can lead down the wrong path. I know it may look cool to some rappers and TV, but some people even need it to even function, to get out to bed each morning. And you don't want to use a crutch to, to continue your life and, and to move forward. Yes, sir? I know someone that in the morning he can't eat. He can't eat unless he smokes. Before he, yeah. he got to smoke before he eat in the morning. Yeah, yeah, because he got to develop all day without eating if he don't smoke. Right, right. So, I've heard that as well. So, anyone know a slang term for uh, cocaine? Coke, uh, like right. Mali. Mali. <laughs> well, they call Sam Char heard snow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, no. that's the slang term. I, I heard it called well. booger sugar. I've heard <laughs> <that>. <laughs> um, and most people, and y'all. 
Y'all seen um what's another movie? Uh, Life. American Gangster. Yeah. yeah. So they use that thing called Blue Magic. That was heroin. And <laughs> yeah, they call it ice. They call it ice. Call it ice as well. Yeah, ice, yeah. But heroin is used to escape reality, and some people use that. You know, that came from the war in Vietnam, so they can kind of forget what their actual problems are. And let me tell y'all this too. Your problems may go away during that one moment, but as soon as you come down from that high or that drunk or whatever you decide to do, you yeah, got the problem still right there you got to deal with. So some people use marijuana to cope with stress, but your stress still going to be there after you get through with that blunt or that joint or whatever, that bong, whatever the other people are doing. Um, and heroin is also used as a gateway drug. Um, have y'all heard of uh, meta, uh, Fetamine? Yeah, meta yeah, yeah. They, they burn yeah. out, so. That's Some people use that to treat their Parkinson's disease. And Parkinson's yeah. is those guys that kind of shake yeah. and don't know they're shaking uncontrollably. Uh, my granddaddy did. Did that, your granddaddy did? Nah, uh, it didn't die. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. With that, um, with that <coughs> Parkinson's and Metaphetamine, you can get addicted to that as well. Um, all drugs, <laughs> this is funny. All, not funny, but all drugs are grown for the earth except one drug that people got to produce on their own. Can you guess what that is? No crack. Crack. That's grown too. Crack and grown too. Nope. It's yeah. ecstasy. I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's the only one that yeah. everything, you know mushrooms, all that stuff you hear about is grown from the earth. Really, but ecstasy is actually the one that's, that's designed they take that it to make it man made. Yeah. One of the crazy part, I just said no. You just said what? I said no. What do you think that, um, Let's answer one of these questions. What type of impact does substance abuse have on your life? Like, what do you think your life, how your life will end up if you get addicted to these type things? You just fall <laughs> off. Like, <laughs> just what do you mean by fall off? Expand on that. Basically, if you're if you're on drugs, you can't function right. Like, yeah. You're, you'll be so func like focused on doing drugs where you forget where everything is and everything that's going on right. around you. Yeah. Let me tell y'all a quick story. I was in um, when I was in college. This girl I knew, real pretty girl, very thin. She ran track, and she could high jump very well. She was tall, had a full uh, scholarship at Auburn University. She went to a party, and uh, she got high with some friends, smoked some weed or whatever. Um, she ended up losing her scholarship because she got drug tested. They let her off with a warning. She uh, ended up gaining weight. She flunked out of school. And she never returned to college. And this is just after trying it one time, she became addicted to getting high. She loved the feeling so much, she threw her life away. She could have been an Olympic high jumper, but she got high this one time. And I know a lot of people may say weed is not that bad, but it will lead to other stuff. Weed can, we can be bad. Everybody not to do it. Yeah. Right, because she stopped working out, she got lazy, she wanted to eat all the time. She used to be able to jump over like all kinds of stuff, and the girl could barely get over a couch. And I know that I'm making light of it, but it was real serious. You know what I mean? Like it was sad to see. And everybody, even including myself, was like, "You need to get your life together." And, and she never did. She ended up flunking out of school and dropping out. And that's what I meant by the type of impact it can have on a person. Like some, some has a party, having a party joint, and all of a sudden she wanted to get high every single day. She out there one time. She liked the way she felt. <laughs> So everybody know what substance abuse is? Do we know what yeah. substance abuse is? It's an yeah. Okay. Who wants to answer what it is? Substance abuse yeah. is... <laughs> <laughs> when you abuse a... When you abuse a substance. Or, right. The issue is that can cause harm. Right. Absolutely. So what we're going to do now, go to, go to your computers. I got a Kahoot assignment set up for you. Uh, it should be only about six questions. Um, you need